Hello, 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 Chuck Meister here, and now I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Jewel Crown One Mini Atomizer. Uh, this is a TPD compliant product available um, from most shops, um, or most good shops, and this was supplied to me from um, e cigarette direct, and the links will be in the notes. And this um, is a TPD, TPD compliant. I've said it so many times and I'm, I'm just falling over it. Okay, so packaging. Now this is nothing to do with um, the product. I'm just fed up of seeing this on something which doesn't contain nicotine. So this is an obligatory um, due to the new laws. Um, I'm fed up of it. Anyway, it says on the side, crown black. So you can guess what colour it is. And on the back, it tells you what's in the box. So, there's the Crown Mini One Atomizer, extra quartz glass because this is uh, quality quartz glass. And there we are. It's not just a standard um, cheap glass. Come on, focus. Let's put it in front of me. There we are. So, it was a, a 0.25 coil installed, a 0.5 coil in the box. Spare o rings and a user manual, all the other things are on there. Okay, so let's check it out. So, take away the plastic things, and we have this box. Quite pretty, this obviously the black as it said. There we are. So, this is where you get it in the box. We are take it out of the box, and in the back, you have a bag of o rings, nice sealed. Silica gel. We have a jewel sticker. Lots of bits and bobs in this box. Um, Crown authenticity card. Uh, we've got uh, a warning card there. And onto the tank. So here we are. So that is the tank, spare coil, and spare quartz glass. So it comes with the uh, 0.25 coil for data, 60 to 80 watts, uh, and the 0.5 spare coil is um, 50 to 70. So 60 to 80, I like to keep things lower um, than recommended. So I'm going to be running this at 50, 60. Um, I tend to find that if you do that, it saves the coils a little bit. Okay, so let's take this thing apart. It is, um, you know, there's the, the coil pre-fitted. And there we are. Jewel coil. Top bit just screws on there. And to fill, it's a top fill. So we'll unscrew the top cap. Juice goes in there. Down the sides. Then this will screw on the top. So airflow. Let's check out the airflow. So at the bottom we've got uh, this bit that turns so it's got a clicky system so it clicks as you're going through um, but obviously I'm going to be running at full open because that's the way I like it I like a lot of airflow um, so there's the tank I'm going to be putting it on my smart alien like I said I'll run it 50-60 watts and if I can get away with it, I'll run it lower. But um, what I'm tempted to do is that. So, let me put some juice in it. This is, um, again, from e cigarette Direct. Uh, Halo, Pair Drops, TPD Compliant. So, inside the box is the instruction manual. And there's the juice. On the side ready. So, what we're going to do? Oh, that smells nice. Oh, that is like that is like pear drops. That is pear drops, proper pear drops. So we're going to take the, the top off and fill it down the side. There we go. Okay, so now we've got plenty of juice there. I'm going to put the top back 
on. So it's uh, the 22.5 mil um, tank. Glass is 22 mil. It's 58 grams in weight. It was two mils, and obviously it's got the uh, 0.25 coils in it. Um, so let's check it out. First, we need to prime the coils. So a little bit of second without without firing. Sounds like a rocket taking off. This um, close the air a bit. I like to do this to speed up the um, uh, time. You could just leave it and sit, but I'd rather do this. You can see the bubbles gone up. You can see that the juice has gone down. You can see um, the bubbles, the bubbles. So that's good. That's a good sign. It means it's working well. Okay, we could be nearly ready. That is taking quite a bit of juice in. Not. So one thing I can see about these coils, these coils take a lot of liquid to prime you know um, and because of that I'm gonna I'm gonna fill a bit more uh, that's not a, a bad thing it does mean that if you don't prime your coils properly that you could um, get a dry hit um, and burn the coils and you don't want to you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so again we put the top back on we ready okay so um, so this this is the, the 0.25 coil um, it's supposed to be um, 60 to um, 60 to 80 I'm gonna start off at 50 watts let's see our vapes and let's see what the flavors like Interesting one. For some reason, I'm getting atomizer short. Um, I don't know. Maybe it isn't quite flush. Let's take it off. Try it back in. New coil. Here's a new coil. Okay, juice. I need my American champagne. I don't know where it's gone. Um, vapor production on this is um, far superior to um, the previous tank that I'd reviewed, and you can see why you're paying the extra five pounds. Uh, the fact that you get the quartz glass and the um, The ease of fill from the, from the top, and oh, this is um, I'm loving the flavour. Throat hits quite hard at 50 watts. Um, I'm going to be really lean and run it down at a lower wattage. I'm going to try this at 40 watts. Now this is supposed to be a, a 60 to 80 coil. 40 watts is comfortable for me. Um, but depending on how you like it, you might want to bump it up. Um, the flavor is really good. Um, it is quite sweet. It is accurate to pear drops. There's no bitter aftertaste. And um, at 40 watts, you can see the vapor productions are really good.
<coughs> so, it's it's really really good. Um, the drip tip is the tip uh, removable. Uh, yes, you got a standard 510 tip. Let's compare sizes. Um, uh -huh. Let's compare. Um, let's try a standard 510 that they've got in there. Fits in there, lovely. Nicely done. And we'll try a press fit. Uh, press fit doesn't quite go in there properly, and that is. Um, possibly just the issue with the design. Um, they designed for smaller. Um, that's quite a large drip tip. Um, so if you want to use your own drip tip, you could be quite limited um, to either straight tips or the tip that comes with it. It's not limited because that is quite a large uh, ball for a 510, and it fits in there nicely because it's got that. Um, it's got the cut off shoulders. It's got that bevel on it. And that sort of corresponds to the the bevel there. It does click in there quite um, quite nicely. I actually like a lot of airflow, but with this, I could probably possibly trim it down a little bit. It's nice you can you can hear it click. I do like that when when things are sort of tacked down like that. good okay so the Chrome mini one um, what do I think so it's definitely worth the money definitely really good airflow on it um, the flavor coming through it is really good um, obviously you saw the the priming of the coil it took a took a lot of juice to prime the coil um, I think the one con is just the the fact that you you could be limited with your drip tips, so if you've got custom tips, then they might not fit. Um, unless, no, I don't think that comes off. Does it come off? No, it doesn't. Okay, so, um, yeah. Nice tank. Um, easy to see, you can fill it right the way up to the top. And I, if, if you look at the, the, the that is wider than the glass, so um, you could quite easily put a couple of vape bands on it to protect the glass. And the vape protection is, is, is really good on it. Anyway, so if you wanted to buy one of these, they are currently in stock um, from the supplier. So that's e-cigarette direct, and it's £25 uh, less a penny. Like I said, you can run the coils. This this is supposed to be um, 60 to 80. It's running really well at 40, and it will probably last quite a bit longer running at a lower you know, power. So um, that is one thing to consider. Uh, just running it lower, you still get a good flavour and good vapour production. Anyway, um, it's a very nice tank. The tank I would probably give this um, an eight. To a nine, um, because the flavour the, the flavour com is, is really coming through. Um, back onto the juice, um, pear drops. Like I said, this is the the range. Um, it's actually it's kind of heading towards a premium range flavour. I would give this um, an eight, a solid eight, uh, not quite a nine. Um, but obviously it's um, it isn't an expensive juice. Check it out on the website, and um, it's a very accurate flavour. Is it an all-day vape? Um, yeah, this one is. I could vape this all day. It's true. It's sweet. Um, it is. It is like having a pear drop in your mouth. Um, it's got the sweetness and. A lot of the times, pear flavour doesn't always come through. It comes through really well, um, and it's not too sickly. So, good score on that. Anyway, um, catch you on the flip side. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, vape on, dudes.